development of a pentagonal pyramid base side 30 mm and axis length 60 mm so first we have to draw orthographic of it so first we'll draw x y line and then we, then we draw um, top and front view so here i have to construct a pentagon of dimension 30 mm with respect to edge show the dimensions okay so now it is an pentagonal pyramid so we have to draw perpendicular bisectors here totally five perpendicular bisectors we have to construct And then we have to <coughs> retain only the slant edges which were coming from the corner using trim command we will erase it okay now we can give the naming for it a b c d e o and o1 okay Now projecting the line upward, we can draw the front view of it. So here the axis length it is 60 mm. So the projection lines has to be thin lines. Okay. Okay, now I will select the axis length and I will give the dimension 60 mm. Okay, you can see there axis length 60 mm. We can connect it to get the front view of the pyramid. So front view of the pyramid it is a triangular face. You can show the dimensions. And here you can see we know that uh, the pyramids will be drawn with the slant edge length. Okay, true length, true length here. So first we have to find out the true length here. So, okay. So before that I will be mentioning its <coughs> front view notations. So find out this is what the uh, slant edge length, okay? Because o OD is the parallel to x length, that's why we should measure O dash D dash is our true length, okay? So using this true length, we have to construct. So true length we are having that is 65.2. So first uh, we have to draw a vertical line, vertical line for 65.2 mm. Okay, then we have to measure this length. Okay, using arc by center method, you can draw an arc. Okay, you can draw a larger arc so that we can able to cut five arcs here for a length of 30 mm. You can see each of these uh, base edges are having 30 mm length, so we should to give the radius 30 then cut the arc the same way from that reference point again i'll be cutting okay take exact point again i have to give the radius 30 and then cut the arc okay like the total five arcs i have to cut again 30 So again from that intersection point 
ठीक सो कैन एक्सटेंड दिस सो वी रिक्वायर मोर आर्क लेंथ हियर सो जस्ट आई विल एक्सटेंड दिस लेंथ Can cut the arc again for 30 mm length. Total five arcs we have to cut. Okay. Now we can join all these arc points. Okay, from the from that reference point to here, so we can join. So that arc which I have cut it, we should make it thin. Okay. that because uh, that is not our exact uh, development so just we take that as an reference okay so we should extend it and using extend to next command to extend the arc so again we have to go to line here and we have to join from this reference point to here so now we can give the naming this is o point and this should be written with the capital letters capital e capital b capital c capital d capital e and capital e okay so this completes the problem you can subscribe for the channel okay and like the like this video and hit on the bell icon for the latest notifications